Hello, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotive. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use dynamic related lists in Salesforce. I'm on an account record here in Salesforce and if I switch over to the related list tab, we've got our standard related lists here. And so how they currently work in Salesforce is they just show you everything. So if there are any related opportunities, as an example, they're going to show up here under opportunities. But what dynamic related lists allow you to do is apply filters to that list. So we could create a related list of just open opportunities or just closed one opportunities. And this is really valuable because it enables your users to get to the data they care about a lot faster. This especially applies when you have a lot of related records. So to give you an example, let's say that you have 30, 40, 50 contacts related to an account, but only one or two of them are your actual point of contacts, the people you interact with regularly. Well, if you have a way of noting that on that relationship record for that account, well, then you can create a related list that just shows you those VIPs or those points of contact at that account. And you're going to find out who you need to talk to a lot faster. Another good example is with cases. So let's say, for example, you're working with a client over multiple years. Well, you're going to have dozens or hundreds of cases for that particular client. And it's very easy to miss out on the ones that are most relevant. So you could create a related list that just shows you the urgent cases or the open cases or the most recently created. And then you're going to find that data a lot faster than just coming to a standard non-dynamic related list like the ones we're looking at here. So to use this feature, all you need to do is edit the lightning page. So I'm going to click the setup gear and then click the shortcut for edit page. And on the left hand side, we have this component called dynamic related list dash single. I'm going to drag that over to the right column, but you could put it wherever you'd like. And then we have a bunch of settings on the right hand side here to configure this dynamic related list component. The first thing is what record do we want to reference? So most often you're going to use this record that you're on, but you could also reference related records like parent accounts. Then you're going to choose which related list you want to display. You know, in our case, let's just take a look at open opportunities. So I'm going to choose opportunities for my related list. You could then change the label. So these aren't just opportunities, they're open opportunities. You can, of course, change the related list type, and then you can set how many records you want to have displayed. I'm going to leave it at 10. I think I'll hide the action bar just to make it a little bit simpler. And then you can choose which fields you want to have displayed right here. Previously, you'd have to go to the page layout to change which columns were going to show up in that list. And then at the bottom, we've got the sort field and the sort order. So I'm going to leave these default for now, but this is where you might want to sort your related records by created date. And then here we go, related list filters. So I'm going to add a filter and I'm going to look at the closed field and set that to false. So I'll choose closed equals and then false. So that's going to give me all of the open opportunities. And beneath that, you could add additional actions if you wanted to. So buttons that would show up here next to the title. And we also have the standard component visibility filter underneath that as well, which we have a video on if you're interested in using that functionality. Click save and hit the back button. Now we have our new dynamic related list just displaying open opportunities on the record. I think this is a really useful feature when it comes to making things easier to find for your users. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please hit like and click subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.